Keeping your diary up to date, huh? Smart. Maybe one day you can use it to prove yourself right in all this. You're right about that. And we return with more Persona 5 Royal. This is part 33. And today, we're gonna study. Now listen up. What do you want to do? We need to focus more on our studies. And plus, it raises up our knowledge. <laughs> well, at least that's some progress. Still gotta reach up knowledge rank 4. Well, then. Yeah, I know. That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. Same with Kamoshida, and Matarame too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? That's simple. They... they... they're just too scared. So it's because they don't have the courage. Humans are so weak. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human when I touch the treasure? Some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. I'm sure you are. Talk about a lukewarm response. Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. With this, we reach rank 5, Pickpocket. Chance to obtain an item when Joker performs a melee attack. All right. Nice. Come on, it's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. I agree. wishes to speak with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? You mean that other metaverse user? Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. I feel like my bond with Igor grows deeper. This reaches rank 6, High Arcana Burst. Increases the experience bonus granted by Arcana Burst. All right. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. Now life returns back to normal for us. Hello? It's me, Makoto. Were you sleeping? No, it's fine. Thank goodness. There's something I feel I should let you know. Kaneshiro contacted me. Kaneshiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What? 
It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a mafia, after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? It's hard to say for sure yet. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kaneshiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kaneshiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. This is just really surprising. I think you may know this already, but I've been ordered by Principal Kobayakawa to look for the culprits. Culprits? Yes, the ones responsible for the calling card. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to come find me there. Let's do it. I see. Well, at least we got it taken care of. Let's check our items. We got a lot of tools and materials. Yup, I have a fray, which I need to duplicate, but not a Tarakaja. We'll just have to head to the velvet room then. But do I have extra room in my persona list? Well, I'm going to have to figure things out. Inmate. Though I got to take care of that tomorrow. You certainly seem composed. I agree. Justine, you handle this. You want to register it? You'd like to register this? Yes. Good. Time for some rehabilitation. Let's execute them. Fusion. Empress. Take Minekata. Justice Principality. I'm not strong enough. Though I need to have at least a star. That's for much later. I'll always rebuy a Shikyoji. Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing unusual. Its power will be my, my. Though it's necessary. I am Fuki. I'll become one of your masks and work as though I were a raging thunderstorm within your heart. Yes, indeed. I am now a star. Forgive me, Anna no Yuzume. You okay with this? Heck yes. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. significant now for a reaper yeah because we need to still finish up the chariot uh, me kinky if you possess the mask I will grant you the power of an unyielding heart oh dodge sigh Nice. Temperance, Emperor, Faith, Strength. I do not have anything left for justice.
You okay with this? Yeah, but it gives me a boost. Finished for now? Justine, you handle this. These are the paths you have walked. And there were many paths. I need a priestess. All I have... I don't need an empress. I need a priestess. Sun, moon, star, temperance. Really, and I need a high level one. This persona, a fee is required. Fine, I'll just take an Absurus. This is your power. Yeah, because I need an I need a priestess to level that up. I have a star already. I have an emperor. And I need lovers. Which means I must rebuy Amano Uzume. You withdraw this persona. This is your power. This will have to do it for now. Already? What? Yeah. No slacking off. I got what I need. The only reason it took a lot longer than it should was because, yeah, I don't have enough room. I need, like, different arcanas in order to me, I don't know, get what I require. Though, yeah, I have strength, though sooner or later I may have to get rid of it outright. Anyway. Yeah. Let's pay a visit to Yusuke first. Yeah, because we need to have him duplicate a card. Hmm. By the way. Let's work on our deal first. I see. Duplicate. Duplicate a ma duplicate a magic card. And I need to duplicate Frey. Absolutely. Very well. Well, thank you. Now, the next step. Time to meet up with Makoto. Yeah, because we got to head up to the student council office. But as I want to build up bonds with the others... Sorry, Ryuji, but I gotta meet up with, with Makoto today. Nope. There it is. Wow. Wow. Yeah, today is Saturday. Where is she at? Is she at the... She's not on the second floor. She's right here. Hey. That's sad. All we can do now is wait until Kaneshiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Hmm? Do you need something on the third floor? I came to see you. Do you have a minute? Yup, we have enough knowledge. We need to be at rank three for it. Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. A and I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kaneshiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Well, what do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. No, that's not true. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. 
I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Well, we mostly... Most times, I guess, the movie theater. I enjoy the movies myself sometimes. I think I'd prefer somewhere I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, I know. How about the arcade? I've never actually been to one. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons, per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. All right, let's go now. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. You wanna try it? If it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did it! <gasps> Wait! Ah! Koto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice it. Oh, so this is how it is. Well, what did you think? Of course, that was just a game, but... I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. You know, that might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. Well, that was a new side of you. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. I can sense a strong resolve from Makoto. Now we fast forward to the present. A new vow has been made. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And thus, the priestess rank is born. Rank 1. We get Shadow Calculus. Allows you to see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. All right. The High Priestess. By the way, you went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. The Red Light District next? 
Yeah, thanks. I feel a lot better with you helping me through this. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. You haven't forgotten about your special assignment, right? You better not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of our door. As much as I want to, not today. Hey, you see the article? No? It's an interview with some kid from school. Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamashita case. That's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think that Boy M is Mishima? Probably. Guess it might be him after all. I mean, that fan side thing's been a huge help, too. He'd probably finally even be. He ain't doing us any harm. See you later. That article. Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? I should check the article Ryuji mentioned. Just as I thought. The author is listed as Ichigo Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. True. If the palace ruler sees it and his cognition of the Phantom Thieves changes... Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. You should go try and get her to write some more articles about the Phantom Thieves. Good idea. I'll just add this. All right, now that we have that saved. Oh. Yep, we're going to call her. Sure, but our bomb won't deepen yet, but it's good enough. Then I'll head over. Kawakawi cleaned my room. She seems to be thankful that I requested her. I feel like my bond with her will go stronger soon. Thank you for using our service. Well, at least it helps her out. A new day. I have a question regarding the red light district issue. Remember how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today sound? I'm unfamiliar with the area, so I was hoping you were able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? Yo. I'm going to be opening shops soon, so I'll need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. I guess we can respond once the dishes are done. And make sure you thank the chief for breakfast, okay? Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. Wanna to check out the TV? Takemi. Sorry, Takemi, but it's gonna be a while before then. Let's head for the velvet room. Sorry, but I need as much as I want to keep it in my party. You got a lot of good resistances, but I have to remove you. At least for a while. Hey, inmate. I'll be right back. Now, I know you didn't mind that. <laughs> I already know what I want. You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. We need to find an allegory. Is this what you want? You'll withdraw this persona? This is your power. Yeah, because we're going to itemize it. Time for some rehabilitation. Some modification, huh? Yep, indeed. It seems it will become a skill card. Behold its new form. Now, be reborn. Be reborn is something better. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, we'll let I'll let you guys see this. We got a Tower Kaja. You change your mind? Done already? Yeah, we're done. No slacking off. Of course not. I gotta meet with you, Stay. And get it, but first, let's get a drink. It takes guts to drink it. Mm. Nice. Well, that worked. Very good. Now let's meet up with Yusuke. Beautifully executed. Nice, we get another fray. Hmm. By the way. Let's work on our deal, my friend. Yep, for this, yep, we need to, yeah, because it's a support card. Yep, Taru Kaja. Very well. Well then. Okay, now we have that done. Let's meet up with Makoto. Let our bonds continue to be stronger. There are so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently, this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. You seem to be very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that, but it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look. At Makoto's request, we walk separately through Shinjuku. Countless men try to start conversations with her. Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... That was dangerous. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was going to have to knock him out. I'm glad nobody had to get perked, though. I guess that's how they do it. I learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. I sense Makoto's resolve. This unlocks rank two. All right. Hmm. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students, though. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well, then. Hmm? Huh? That was... Did you notice I used to be in the same class in her as her. But why is she here? The after-school salon? What kind of place is that? I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too as my witness. Would that be okay? Well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thank you for today. Hey, um... I want to thank you again for tagging along. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a Barker. I didn't know they could be that persistent. 
Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. Honestly, I've realized that I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you could help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Yep, a lot of stuff did happen. Ah, you're back. You know, I've been curious. What's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very interesting classmate. She is a female shogi player and seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Are you talking about Hifumi Togo? I remember hearing she's a student in Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She is not the kind of person to let others close to her. It sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it's said she's a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen in the church over in Kondo. For real? We gotta go! You'll probably get struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. That ain't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, shogi's a kind of battle, right? She's gotta know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh, that is quite the stretch. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. Ugh, you guys are gonna pay for this one day. Ren, you go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really as cute as they say she is. You idiot! Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration? Skillfully strategizing toward victory? Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. They said she's at the church in Kondo, right? We should check it out when you have the time. I agree. The historical district contains many famous shrines and churches. Confess your regrets, and the path forward may become clear. All right. And she, well, that reminds me. All right, the home shopping programs are. I should write something. Looks like we're going to be paying a visit, but we got to make sure we stock up on everything we can. We have the Dark Power set. And there's also the Cursed Tool set. Fine, we'll buy the Dark Power set. Good. Let's head and get ourselves some fried food. Not expensive, but it'll do for us. Hi. And now we pay a visit to Kanda. 390? Hey, hey. The girl's playing shogi. All right. Togo-san? What? Um, yes? My overflowing charm seems to have reached Hifumi. I'm Hifumi Togo. Hmm. Playing shogi by yourself? I'm doing some research, so... <sighs> experimenting with new tactics is best to do alone in a place like this. Well, I suppose that doesn't sound terribly plausible to someone who doesn't play. Don't mind me. Please go ahead and pray. Well, why don't we ask her? Yes? Can I help you? Can you teach me shogi? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Sorry, 
I just can't. Well then... Um, so... You like Shoki? Yes! I want to play like you! Like me? You're a bit strange, but... Thank you. Um... Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. Fine with me. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate, no matter how you look at it. Please concede. I can still keep going. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost, with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then, that will be all for today. If it's alright with you, may I request another match sometime? I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. You were different too! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I've made a deal with you. Back to the present! I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. With this, the star, Ora, we reach rank one. Koma Sabaki allows you to swap current party with backup members during Joker's turn. Okay, let's end here for today. I feel like playing Shogi with Hifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. That's gonna be needed for rank four. Thank you for- Oh, I'm Amiya-san. I'd like to thank you once again for today. Before you head home, would you like to exchange IDs with me? There's no obligation, of course. Right, lucky me. Uh, is that so? Well, in that case... Let's see. Ah, yes, it went through. Until next time. I'll let you know if I come up with any new strategies. We're almost at the end of June and we're making progress. It's Monday. Whew. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. I can't be late today, too. Not a morning person? No. I was up very early shooting a news show. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. You got it, Akechi. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful. Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then, Mr. Amamiya. 
which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? Well, that's a pretty intri easy one. It's raining cats and dogs. This is it. Good. That's right. Raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs mean it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of rain resembles that of dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dogs' weathers, too. Hey, did you get that question? It wasn't even close! Nice going. All of this is gonna help us. Still not yet. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches. And in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of describing heavy rain and its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Mm. Oh yeah, over here they say that when a cat washes its face, it's rain. I wash my face every day because I like being clean and that's not true at all. Oh, uh, but I'm not a cat, of course. Let's do it. Now it's time to clean house and stock restock. First things first is the courtyard. I wasted a lot. Next comes the arcade. Already got now we gotta move on to the bathhouse. Now after this, we gotta head to Kichijoji. Sure, it's a pain to waste money, but it's worth it. Gotta restock. Now we gotta head to Shinjuku because there's actually two. I don't know about that. Oh. Nope, that ain't it. Oh. Yeah, you mostly find them in blue vending machines. Now to go all the way back. What would you like? All right, now to head to the underground walkway. We need to meet up with Yusuke and form our bonds. There he is. I'm not interested. Beautifully executed. Nice. Now let's form our bonds with mm. our friends. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't find it that too disturbing. Please hear me out. Red. This is the completed form from my draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. Hmm, it's animatic. Yes. Hmm, as it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos for it. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Ren, I intend on submitting this piece to our upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. I can't wait. 
Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. Hmm, I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to brand a life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. I feel like my bond with him grows deeper. With it, we reach rank two of the Emperor. All right. Hmm, I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. See you. I saw Yusuke off. I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was able, even able to come up with a new interpretation, thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. Well, yeah, you're already doing enough. No, I can guide us to even further greatness. <laughs> your very presence amplifies my ambition. What a strange fellow you are. I can hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition, so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Hey. Yo. Another box game for us, huh? Hey. Oh. Yep. I remember our deal. Help to grow bonds yet. I won't need a devil yet. Let's head to the red light district for now. Besides, we have a bond that we must envelop. Offward to crossroads. Oh, honey. You here again, boy? Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, we should form a deal with her. Now then. Here we go. Hey, Lalachan, are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? Uh, I have Phantom Thieves news. For real? You came all this way just to tell me? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Uh, nothing really. Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kanishiro, right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kanishiro related. Something's fishy. Well, the bad. Well, there's nothing fishy here. The bad guys are bad. So you're being swayed by the Phantom Thieves, huh? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy, huh? Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. 
A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? Sounds great. All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. I've made a deal with Oya. And like the last time, fast forward back to the present. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And with this, we obtain Devil, Rank 1. Rumor-filled scoop decreases the security level when you find a new safe room. All right. Nice. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. I was able to pique Oya's interest. My charm has increased. Yep, this will also help us reach up to rank 4. You take care. All right. You be careful on the way home. Don't stick around Shinjuku too long after dark, honey. We get a lot of shady types coming out of the woodwork. Hey, Lala-chan, Lala -chan, where are you go? Hey, Lala-chan, come on, where are you? Honestly, that lady's going to be the death of me. You better head home if she catches you. If she catches you, you're in for an all-nighter. Uh... Thanks. Oh, that's adorable. Feels like gratitude's hard to come by these days. <laughs> you're gonna be a real heartbreaker in a few years. Oh, I'm just teasing you. Now go on home before some degenerate in a gutter spits on you or something. Well, I better get back to set. You'll always be welcome here, but head straight home tonight, okay? Thanks. This is going to take us a long while. Yep, only 11 days left. So that is going to be it for this part of Persona 5 Royal. Next time, we will continue bond building our bonds with our confidants. Because it's not like there's anything else to do. So yeah, that's it. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. And like I said, if you enjoyed, hit the like button. It helps. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.